these are just fantastic. They're so good. It just inspires you. You want to come here and work as soon as you possibly can. There's been a lot of talk about delays, but inside the New Perth Children's Hospital, there's a sense that it's getting very close. If you go through Princess of Margaret at the moment, it's looking tired and run down, and you come to here and you think, wow, isn't this so good? Isn't it sensational? Dr Ian Gollow is a paediatric surgeon at Princess Margaret Hospital. He began his career there 40 years ago. Very soon, he'll watch a dream he had decades ago become reality. This is sensationally better than, than when I first started um, with um, three operating theatres that were old and dark and dingy and then Princess Margaret upgraded to that one. Dr Gollo is leading us on a tour of the new operating theatres and there's no hiding his excitement and pride. We start in the pre-anaesthetic area. Okay, so these are the bays where the children are seen by the nurses, um, surgeons and anaesthetists and you can see there are lots of primary colours here. The area is big, bright and colourful. Patients come as part of a family, um, so trying to keep the family involved as much as we can. So the parents will come and come into this area and the parents can come into the operating theatres whilst the children go to sleep most of the time. From here they're taken to the operating theatres on the trolley with their parents. So this is the anaesthetic induction room where the children and the parents come in and the children are put to sleep. In here we'll have an anaesthetic machine and all the monitoring equipment. Now, an area parents and kids won't get to see, and it's truly remarkable. Wow, this really is amazing, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, the new, clean operating theatres, this is the anaesthetic pendant, uh, where all the anaesthetic machines are connected to. Designers and clinicians searched the globe for the best. The United States, the Middle East. The 12 operating theatres, a state-of-the-art, futuristic. What do you think of this? It's amazing, isn't it? It's just, as you said, like science fiction, but it's so completely different. We have so much more control. In some ways, this has come full circle. In the earliest days of surgery, operating theatres got their name because that's what they were. Theatres where scholars watched on. Today, every operating theatre is fitted with multiple cameras and screens, so everyone involved can watch and learn. As well as the cameras we do for the operations which come on the monitors, the camera can then be displayed on the screen so that the staff can see exactly what's going on around. The theatre walls are made from glass panels that can be reconfigured if needed to create bigger spaces. All the controls including lighting and more critically extremely accurate temperature control is operated from touch screens. This is the world's leading technology for um, theatre design. The new neurosurgery theatre will change the way brain surgery is conducted in WA. Straight from the operating theatre into our MRI scanner. So right next door. Right next door. Have you been able to do this before? No. First time in Western Australia that we've been able to do that. Until now, to get an MRI, patients had to leave the sterile theatre requiring wound closure and travel to another floor. Getting this MRI into place was no small feat. The $3.5 million machine from Germany had to be gently craned into place before windows were fitted. Getting all of the new equipment into place and functioning is a massive ongoing job. If we get some new equipment, we have to make sure it's integrated and it fits into the new environment. Um, so there's a whole team that works on that. Sarah Payne is manager of Operating Theatre Commissioning. She has more than 20 years' experience as a theatre nurse. By the time patients arrive at the end of the year, every piece of equipment must be working perfectly. Every nursing staff, medical staff, clerical staff will know exactly what they're doing, where everything is um, and how it will function as soon as the patients arrive. What makes this state-of-the-art operating theatre different to the others is no patient will ever be treated here. It's a fully functioning simulated theatre where surgeons and staff can practice all sorts of emergencies and procedures without any lives being put at risk. The $1.2 billion hospital was due to be finished last year, but now it will open later this year. 
Has it been worth the wait? I, I think the answer is we have to get it right. We have to get it right the first time. Mm-hmm.